we have come together to witness the marriage of James and of Emma, to pray for God's blessing upon them, to share their joy and to celebrate their love. Marriage is a gift of God in creation through which husband and wife may know the grace of God. It's given that as man and woman grow together in love and trust, they shall be united with one another in heart, body and mind. So it's impossible to put down in words how much you mean to your mum and me. So I'll put it simply. You make us proud every day. And we love you very, very much. God only knows what we'd be without you. Love mum and dad. So. I, James, take you, Ellen, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part. James, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. No one is perfect, but to me, James, you come pretty damn close. Not everyone gets to see it, but you are kind, caring and thoughtful. You always put me first and you never fail to make me smile. But what I love most about you is that you are unapologetically you. There aren't many people in this world who are lucky enough to meet their person at the age of 15, build a true friendship, grow up together, and I feel incredibly lucky to be one of the lucky few. So, thank you for the past 14 years, thank you for loving me, and here's to our next chapter. So please, could I ask everyone to be upstanding and raise a glass to James? To James! And I'll never have to face my nights alone Cause in my heart I hear you speak And on my face I feel you breathe Next to me Two by land, by air, by sea that is how it's supposed to be Now And that much I can see Now I'm pulling loaves of bread down from the shelf um, In return for your patience I promise to always take the tomatoes out of your burger to give you the extra prawns when I cook a stir fry and carry the rucksack when we go skiing. But it's not even your high level of tolerance that has made me want to marry you. I honestly can't imagine a more perfect person to spend the rest of my life with. You're thoughtful and honest, loyal and endearingly clumsy. And clearly, a wonderful judge of character. Uh, luckily, we also share the same sarcastic sense of humour, uh, which I think you'll all get to experience shortly. Um, but joking aside, Ellen, you continue to make me a better person, and I can't believe I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I can't
can't wait to continue building our life together with Pickle and Tigger. Those are our cats. I'd be killed if I didn't mention them. <laughs> and see where the rest of life's journey takes us. When you walk down the aisle today, you completely took my breath away. I know I said you're beautiful, but they generally weren't words to describe how, I made you, how you made me feel today. I really am the luckiest man alive, and I can't imagine living without you. Ellen, you're my lobster, and I love you <laughs> with all my heart and soul. So Ellen. <laughs> Myself to give up right now, not this way. Cause I love.